Hi, I'm Christian. Welcome back to another On The Road video brought to you by AppliantVideo.com. Today we're working on a GE electric dryer. The customer's complaint is that they went to start the dryer one day and turn the knob. The knob had broke and split, so it wasn't turning the shaft of the start switch. So then the customer started using a pair of pliers to turn on the start switch to turn on the dryer. The clips that hold the start switch in place on the control panel had broken off. So the only way to repair this issue once the notches on the control panel have broken off is to replace the whole control panel assembly. So to do so, we're gonna disconnect the power from the dryer and the vent, and then turn it around so we can get to the back three mounting screws that are securing the control panel in place. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. The tools you will need to complete this repair are a number two Phillips screwdriver and a standard flat blade screwdriver. To access the components under the control panel, we do have to remove three number two Phillips saw screws. Now that we have the three screws removed, we're gonna go ahead and lay a protective mat here. That'll cover and protect the dryer. We're gonna grab the control panel and gently lay it down on the mat. This will expose the timer, the temperature selector, and the start switch. Now these switches we do have to transfer over to the new control panel. To do so, actually I'm going to tilt the shuttle back up and grab each one of these knobs and just lift the right off, just like that. Here's a timer knob. It's gonna be the exact same way. You just lift straight off. And then tilt the panel and lean it on the protective mat. The reason why we are replacing the control panel assembly is you could see the start switch, that's this part right here, is just laying here. Usually it would be in this notch right here. As you could see, both the notches should look like this one right here. This one is broken off. So that's why we're replacing the control panel. This one's just dangling there. I won't explain how to uninstall it because it's broken. The temperature selector switch though, there is a clip right here. You're going to actually pull up on the clip and then rotate the switch counterclockwise. And then it'll pull right out. This right here is the control timer. It's going to be uninstalled pretty much the same way that the temperature selector switch was uninstalled. There's the metal clip here. You're gonna go ahead and lift it up slightly and then rotate to the right or counterclockwise. And we're gonna go ahead and remove the timer and the switches, lay them on the protective pad and then discard our old control panel. So now we're gonna line up the control panel, put our control timer on top of the panel. We're going to start by installing the control timer first. Line the shaft up with the opening and then rotate it. This time you're gonna rotate it clockwise, make sure all the clips are in place and then you'll hear it snap in place. Now we're gonna come here to the temperature selector switch and do the exact same thing for this one. Push the shaft of the switch through the opening and then rotate it clockwise. Now we're gonna do the same for the start switch. Line it up and rotate it clockwise. Just like that. Now we're ready to reinstall the new control panel. First thing we wanna do is Grab the control panel carefully. Line up the three tabs at the bottom with the openings. Once they're in their openings, you wanna slide the control panel to the left and then seat it in its original position. It'll, it'll sit flush on all the panels. Once it's flush, we can go ahead and re-secure the control panel with the three number two Phillips screws we removed earlier.
line up the knob on the shaft and just push straight on. And do the same for the other two switches. Once you reattach the dryer vent and plug the dryer into the power supply, this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality in-home repair video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.